very pleased to welcome back to the Skytrack studios today one of the greatest heavy metal performers in the world today, Ozzy Osbourne. How you doing? Hello Ozzy, how you doing? Great, good to be here again. All right, well the last time we saw you was about a year ago and at that point you were just uh, putting material together for your new album, The Ultimate Yeah, scene. yeah, it's, it's been that, that long. Mm, actually, actually that, that long, yeah. Like yesterday, yeah. Well the album's actually out now, it's gone top ten in America, it's starting mm. to go in the charts all over the world. Finally. <laughs> in actual fact, it's, it's now entered the, Amer um, the German charts, which is the first time ever and I've never had a record that's doing so well in Germany I think it's really up to a hundred thousand sales now. It, it's a very upfront album isn't it I mean I think pro my opinion is it's probably rockier than anything you've done in quite a while Would it's, you it's, it's, it's rockier but it's, uh, it's very uh, using Ron Nevison as, as a producer it's, it's come a kind of Americanized sound which I don't know whether I like or whether I don't, but I can't complain because it's doing so well. You know. Mind you, you've now got two Americans in your band. I mean, yeah. Apart from Jake on guitar, you've now got uh, Randy Castillo on drums. Castillo. Yeah. And uh, Phil Susan on the bass. He's not American. He's, he's no, he's English, English yes. Yeah. yes. But uh, they seem to have really added an edge to your sound. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, Jake, Jake's come out, of, come out of his shells amazingly on this new album. It's, it's like bur burst forward in such a degree. It's like, I mean, he did, it's so much work. I mean, I mean, I, though it's called the Ozzy Osbourne album, it's, it's justifiable to call it the Ozzy Jake album because he did so much work on it, you know. Jake did as, as much as, more than anybody, really. Now, we've got you in the studio today and you've just finished your first British tour in, what, two and a half years? Yeah, we finally finished one, you know, that's, that's about it. Because the last time I was very ill from exhaustion and body abuse from the, the, the road. Because what I used to do before is to go to America for, uh, God knows, eight months, nine months, then come back and try and attempt to do a British tour, which... My spirit had died and, and, and I was mentally and physically exhausted, so this time I did it the other way around and did the English tour. Then now I'm going to America yeah. on, on Saturday. Well, it's also it's a very vibrant stage show you've got now. Yeah, the, the, but the thing about this new band is that all, they all want to go, they all want to have a fight for it, you know. It's like, it's like you're having a young soccer player, you know, in a football pitch. Wants to be better than anybody else, you know. And it's, it's, it's good to have because there's a lot of spirit back in the band now where, the, where it was kind of laxy daisy before because I knew everyone uh, everyone knew that we could go out and sell at a concert and so it's not what I'm about I like to get out there and conquer you know yeah yeah so I mean still after all this time you still really enjoy being on oh, stage this, this British tour has been fantastic it's been wonderful the, 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 the last show was at Bradford and the reaction was fabulous the only thing that lets it down is the the facilities for gigs is not very good in this country you mean they're not big enough no it's, it's not it's, the acoustics are bad they're now beginning to sort of Codge a few of these old plays, not like putting actual sinks and indoor <laughs> toilets, you know. Soft toilet paper. Yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. All right, well now, well, now we're going to have a look at the new Ozzy Osbourne video, and this is a shot in the dark. Ozzy, where was that video filmed? In Los Angeles. Uh, it's funny thing, the girl who's actually on the video, the girl with the, who turns into the beast at the whatever the thing at the end, she. We did a kind of, uh, sort of a, a lineup of different chicks because we wanted to get the si uh, similarities to the album cover, and she's actually the che a cheerleader from the LA Rams. <laughs> sort of Made me feel very cold actually looking at it. That was Los Angeles, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it was. It was a hard work we did. We started at six in the morning and didn't finish sometimes at ten at night. It took three days to do. But uh, I'm going out to Los Angeles, well, to, to America this weekend. Well, and, well, that's what I was about to say. I mean, speaking we're gonna, of... We're going to do the whole of the album. We're going to do the whole concept of the album video. video look. Not just like... Sing, and sing, they're going to video some live, tra some live sh parts of the live show. And we're going to have a bit of a, um, a storyline going through. You're like, actually going to video every track on the album? I don't know whether it's every track, but as far as I can go, the tracks we do live off the album on stage are going to video parts. It's going to be like a bit of a storyline. So Great. It's going to go out on CBS Fox on a video cassette, you know, but uh, that's as far as I know. Oh, we look forward to seeing that. Oh, yeah, I'm quite interested in doing it. I like doing videos. This last video was amazing. A lot of fun to do. I mean, mind you, when you see it, when you see it on, a, on like a three and a half minute slot, I think it's like, Christ, three and a half minutes, I spent days and hours, like, makeup, more clothes, you know, going doing the same shot of it. 25 times, you know. And it's all over in like three and a half minutes. Yeah, it's gone down. Yeah. Speaking of America, now you're just about to do another massive American tour. America yeah. has always, it seems, traditionally been the place where all these weird and wonderful things have happened to you. Oh. Do you ever... Do you ever well, they're a bit wonderful <laughs> and certainly weird. <laughs> do you ever sit there and go, oh, no, another American I know, tour. and this time it's, I'm expecting all the flack, all the banners and all the marches and all that. It's kind of fun, you know, because a funny story one time, I thought to myself, do these people really know who I am? <laughs> And so there was a procession of people walking outside the gig. I can't remember where, exactly where the gig was. And I got a, a, a broom handle. 
and now all the sort of cards are saying, smile, have a happy day, and I will join the end of the <laughs> procession walking around the gig. I didn't even know I was there, you know. At the end of this American tour, we've just it's just been announced in the British and European press that you're going to be headlining Castle Donington. Yeah! yeah. Do you enjoy those big open air Oh, I mean, the, when I did Castle Donington la last time, um, it was great. We had a, the weather was... If the weather's good and, 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 you know, the atmosphere's good, it's just it's just the best day in the world. It's wonderful. There's no other place like Castle Donington. Yeah. And we, the last time I played, it was ACDC in, in Van, Van, Van Halen and all the rest of it. We had a great time. Yeah. And, of course, now... Straight after after Donington, you'll have probably been on the road with your new band for about six solid months. Yeah, but it should be it should be uh, well worn in by then. I yeah, think. they're a greedy lot, your fans. I mean, we've already had hundreds and hundreds of letters into this studio saying, "When is Ozzy going to play in Europe?" Is there any what chance I'm, what of that? I'm, what I'm trying to fix him, because th th to be honest, the original plan was it, it wasn't we weren't going to do Europe this time because of the, of the fact that it was, economically it wasn't very you know it wasn't very viable for us to do. But now the Album's number two in Finland, and it's getting up in all these different little countries. It's in the and German chart, as you say. It's in the German charts, I believe. And uh, I'm trying to fix, after Castle Dungeon, to go straight to Europe and do, like, a, say, a three-week tour of Europe, you know? You heard it first on the Monsters of Rock show. I hope you hold to that promise, Ozzy. I'm definitely going to try it, because, I mean, I've, a lot of people can't come to the Hammersmith show, came from Europe, said, please come to, you know, Europe. I'm, gonna try, I'm definitely going to try and make it if I can. All right, well, if you do go and do Europe, I hope you come in and say, say hello to us first. Sure, will do. Thanks very much, Ozzy. Thanks for coming in. And this is I Don't Know by Ozzy Osbourne.